Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on annuities. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can calculate various payouts on annuity investments. Okay? So, um, an annuity is where someone makes a lump sum deposit, so it takes a bunch of money and deposits, deposits it, and then makes regular withdrawals over a fixed time period. Okay? Uh, the investment earns interest based on the remaining funds at the end of each time period. So for how much money you have left in, you're going to gain interest on all the money that you have left over after you've made a withdrawal from that. Okay, so best way to understand this is to take a look at an example here. Uh, example three, May has just retired from her job as a narabias, which is a professional stand in liner, someone who stands in line for someone else. Okay, at age 50, uh, she has $700,000 in her savings. She rolls over her money into an annuity fund that returns 4.2% per annum compounded monthly. Okay, so if she withdraws $3,900 a month, how long will it take for the money in her fund to run out? Okay, so to do that, we're going to want to use our TVM solver. So the, to get to that, we're going to go into apps and into finance right and there's our tvm solver so it's going to give us a whole bunch of stuff here um uh, let's clear actually if you try to clear it out and don't put anything in there then it will be angry with you and it won't let you move so um let's do this we are we'll, we're going to solve for n because that's how much time how many months it's going to take so we're going to solve for that so we have to put a number in there for starters and we're going to come back and solve for that so we're going to fill everything else in the interest rate here is um, 4.2 percent 4.2 and we are depositing 700,000 so look that's actually 700,000 just by chance so um, and remember we're taking money out of our account and we're putting it into another account so really we're getting we're taking out 700,000 that's why how I remember to put the negative in for the present value there payment is going to be $3900 a month is what we're going to end up getting out of that we want the future value to be zero and then it's compounded monthly so the payments per year and compound periods per year both being 12 works just fine and then what we want to do is we want to highlight what we want to solve for and then do alpha enter which is solve and that tells us it's 283.18 months so oops i've got um about 283 months it's gonna last okay Part B, if May wants her money to last her until she is 95 years old, how much can she withdraw per month? So currently at 50, 95, so that is 45 years from now, right? So if we go back in here, um, this is going to be, let's see our, let's see, this is how long we want it to last, right? So 45 years times 12 let's get out of this so that we can calculate so 45 times 12 gives us a 540 months okay so we go back into apps finance tvm solver all our old stuff is still there but now instead of 283 months we want it to be 540 months interest rate is still the same present value is still the same payment is what we're going to solve for and then we're going to end up running it all the way out so the future value is still zero payments per year and compound periods per year still 12 so we're going to solve for how much uh, she can withdraw per month and make it last 45 years so we'll do alpha enter which is solve and she can take out 288 2887.69 so 2,800, I already forgot, 2887.69 per month. Okay, that'll last her till she's 95. Okay, all right, that's all we have for the notes on annuities. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Thanks.